St. John's. Oh my god, sick. Good morning. It's a cloudy, coldish day today, so I was planning on just getting some stuff done today, and a friend happened to need a trailer edited pretty quickly, um, so I'm working on that this morning, and it's so great. Like, I get so immersed in these when I do them. It's also a little bit scary and stressful because I really want to do the film justice. Gonna do some cleaning today, gotta go to Trader Joe's today, and I have to cook, so it's a Gonna be a pretty packed day, but just trying to stay chill about it. Somehow three hours went by. This always happens. I'm gonna go get a muffin. Coffee cake. Oh my God. It's really good. having a quarter because we're being reasonable it's monday morning i put them in the freezer keep them fresh and i kind of like it like this let's put you back down at my favorite angle here really hot let's give it a wave get some icing in there if it fell off it's frozen It's alright. I got a really big chunk of carrot that was almost like chewy. Dude, wait for it to defrost. It isn't. Dude, it's not even frozen. It's just oh. cold. I don't mind it cold. But yeah, I thought the icing would be cream cheese, but I don't think it is. Can't tell. It's lunchtime. I'm having one of those days where I really want to indulge in my laziness and I don't have much motivation to do much. But I just feel so much worse when I do that. I always bring myself back to feeling better when I just encourage myself to keep focusing and do the things I need to do which right now is to eat some soup I got this Trader Joe's garden vegetable soup which if I'm not mistaken some people have mentioned before so let's try it out come on ow my hand already hurts ow Okay. What would you do if I was in here? Um, I've done it before. I have methods. All right, let's give it a little taste test here before I bring it to the table. Mmm. What the hell? It's not even hot. It's just the bowl. How does that work? It's pretty good. It'd be better if it was hotter. Make the dough, and this is how I made it. And two and a half cup of oil for the Got some serious cloud cover coming in here. Not sure what's going on. So, so, you know how earlier I was saying it makes me feel good to do the things that I'm putting off or whatever? Well, I was gonna cook today. Uh, and then I took a nap. You know what, I don't even feel bad about it. Whatever, it felt amazing. I'll cook tomorrow. Good morning. Why am I so weird? I don't have much to show you on these weekdays, I guess. I didn't vlog us at the bar yesterday. And I don't even know if I'll go to a cafe or anything. On my walk today, I might just walk. Yeah, because I gotta cook. I guess you'll see me cook, finally cooking later. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay.
Just checking in. Today we are having Trader Joe's organic split pea soup. <laughs> Doesn't look very appetizing, but I do love split pea soup. I also haven't warmed up yet, so maybe it's a bit stiffer than it will be. I present to you my soup. I put it in a cup because the bowl wouldn't actually heat up the soup. The bowl itself got hot and the soup stayed cold. And it looks way cuter like this. I can sip it too. Mmm. The starving when I got home, I had to have a banana and some peanut butter. We're finally gonna make this curry though, cause it, it has to be done. It has a million things in it. This, I don't even have all the ingredients out. We've got ginger, gotta chop it. Shit tons of garlic, gotta chop it. I'm using already flaked red pepper, crushed red pepper, so that I don't have to chop some other peppers. I'm gonna put some lemon in it. Tomato paste. Coconut milk. Oil. Fucking million spices. Coriander. Turmeric. Garam masala. Pepper. Mustard powder. Should be mustard seeds, but I couldn't find them. Salt. Whole cloves. I kind of just added this because I realized I didn't have cumin. This is not the same thing at all, but maybe we'll try putting it in. Paprika. Pumpkin pie spices because I didn't want to buy separately nutmeg and cinnamon. And I already said red pepper. In addition to that, we're going to put in shrimp, uh, greens, mixed greens, and cilantro. But first, let's chop. Oh, it's fucked up. <laughs> Was it not frozen? No, I didn't freeze it. Are you sure it's fucked up? I can well, see it's like that soft. it's rotten. Doesn't mean it would be bad. It's fucking pink, dude. <laughs> ah, ha! I found the cumin. It was in an upper shelf. Well, that's a win after that big loss. Ah. All right, we're gonna try using the center of this just to get a little bit of ginger in there. Such an idiot. Normally I like chopping garlic because I find it very satisfying. But today I'm just not in the mood. You may wonder why this peppy mood of mine. Well, there was a cute guy at the cafe and he sat right behind me and I couldn't say anything. I knew what I could have said, but I didn't do it. I did a little test run. I went to the bathroom to see if he would look at me on the way back and he didn't. So I chickened out, told myself, he's probably with somebody already, probably not interested. Why waste my efforts? But the thing is, you just don't know. But then the thing is, is also that you don't want to seem desperate. And you know, I hate to say it, but if a woman does something like that, it's considered more desperate than if a guy does. So I kind of just go to the cafes hoping somebody will talk to me. That could be nice. But um, that didn't happen today. And then this other guy that I've been talking to on Hinge uh, friggin' takes like a day to respond. And I'm just over it. So that's the story today. And that's why we're aggressively chopping garlic. Garlic? Rotting ginger, in fact. <laughs> okay, let's peel this fucking garlic. This is also a little bit rotting, but you know, that's pretty much the theme now, so. Oh yeah. Two normal ones or one big one? I don't know, she said six. Six. My phone's probably gonna die or run out of space while I'm doing this. This is the part where I can go fast because I'm no longer holding it, which is fun. Okay, that should be enough. All right, we're measuring out the spices. Uh, how do you do this without making a huge mess? Oh, you can't see what I'm doing here at all but I can't 
pulled it up. So, oh, that was too much cumin, but that's okay. Two tablespoons of mustard powder, which is like, why don't I just use mustard at this point? Okay, can you see the powder? I don't understand how anybody ever like accurately pours spices into a thing like this. I'm pouring extra along the sides of it. Oh my god. But what a waste. I assume that that's one and a half. What no, a fucking waste. No, because it's supposed to be one and a half. Plus I like extra seasoning anyway. Next, one teaspoon each of turmeric and, I already forget, paprika. My brother's just cooking in the background. This turmeric, okay. turmeric. This turmeric looks very orange. I'm used to it being more yellow. Quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and nutmeg. Mmm, that's gonna be fucking good. This stuff smells amazing. Oh, mmm. I wanna put this in my coffee. Okay, so now we're ready to go get in there. It's quick from here on out. Not much else left to do. Heat the oil. Why does this coconut milk seem like it's not even moving in here? Down. That's a bit concerning. Oh my god, what? Oh. Oh. Um. Coconut milk? It's hard. Oh, it's liquid underneath. Oh, thank god. I was about to freak out. Yeah, I put it in the fridge. Because I'm an idiot. Okay? Okay. Of course you couldn't see me doing that. Smelling good. Now we add the ginger, the oh, garlic, ginger and garlic. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Apparently I'm supposed to add the rest of the spices now. Jesus, I feel like they're all gonna burn. Did you give me wine? Give me some. Chef's privileges. No? Now to deglaze. Need a spoon. Oh my God. Okay, it'll all melt. <sighs> Look, I think even if I mess this up quite a bit, which I don't normally do, of course I had to mess it up on camera. Um, it's a really good recipe, so I think it'll turn out pretty good anyway. Now we add tomato sauce and sugar. I'm gonna use honey, and then we simmer it. Pop that in there. All right, now I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. Stirring in the tomato sauce. It's too stiff. <laughs> Tomato paste has mostly melted in now. I believe next is the cauliflower. I got this uh, riced cauliflower so that I wouldn't even have to chop any cauliflower. And normally I get frozen florets, but I couldn't find that. <laughs> and then this way I don't have to put it over rice even because I kind of already have that texture. Use the top, it's gonna all dry out. Looks like a chicken. Why are you drinking my wine? I'm hoping that frozen cilantro won't be too different from fresh. It's actually a lot much? easier to chop. Why do you act like I've never made this before? I, I know it know. seems like I haven't made it before, but I have. Let's do the salt and pepper. Ow! Now I'm gonna add the shrimp. While the cauliflower cooks, they can cook together. Oh, this will be protein rich. Got our shrimpies in there. All right, now it's cleanup time while the shrimp cooks. All right, so I ran out of space on my phone before the last few steps. Here it is, finished. We added the greens, cilantro, lemon, and garam masala. Ready to go. I'm just gonna do the last little bit of cleaning and then enjoy this. Let's go to taste test. I overcooked the shrimp. It's a bit rubbery, but the flavors are amazing. I'm gonna eat this now. Good day. I told myself I would go on a run today because my hair is dirty. And I usually love to run, but there were random noises in the building last night. So I was in and out of sleep, and I don't want to run. That 
was my first run since, damn, I thought December, but I think the last time was in November. That makes more sense that it killed me as much as it did. My throat was hurting as if it was winter temperatures out there, even though it was 20 degrees. Didn't check in yet today. I'm gonna go on a little walk. I actually just filmed my outro to the Roach video. I have a date tonight. I've been nervous all day. I get more nervous for second dates than first dates. This is one of the guys I went out with last week. I don't know how I feel about it. I was honest with him about that. And he was like, let's just go. And I was like, yeah. And uh, now I've spent all day being angry because I'm nervous about it and I don't wanna be nervous about it and I don't wanna go. I'm gonna go out on a walk and grab some, uh, buy some alcohol to drink a little bit before I go. This is the fit today. Pretty much the same shit as I always wear, but I'm really loving it though today. <laughs> You're supposed to breathe that much that you almost pass out, though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad I filmed the apartment tour yesterday because, needless to say, the vibe's been kind of killed in here. The vibes are a little bit off. The vibes have been effectively damaged. The vibes have been shattered if you will. Going to lunch and running away from our deconstructed apartment. <laughs>